Uh, and we're live. It's Sam and Michael looking at local support again. Um, let's share the screen. We just we had a stand up. There was a as I was just moving from a search to an admin login. There was briefly an error in the system, uh, and I ran the Heroku logs and just ran. Out, oh, the, uh, okay, here we go. Program is missing. Okay, so it was there. It's the kind of thing that exactly that we'd like air break for. Um, so I guess I can just throw. You can't submit a search without a query string, I guess. Yeah, and I guess there was like a, but I mean, I, I guess it was like I was get there. Yeah, go. On. Never mind. Seemed like you got there from just clicking. Yeah, I, I think I got. I think it was like you know we've got this thing where if you log in, it's supposed to take you back to the page you were on previously or something. Yeah. Um, this is like logging into admin after search. Uh, yeah, that would be much easier to read if we had. Let's just throw that in there. Okay, but that that can be dealt with another time. Um, okay, lots of different things going on. Uh, okay. Um, Okay. So, move that out the way. Um, yeah, I was going to tell Marilyn. Um, and uh, do reach out to Marilyn. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, also, this Petro, Petro uh, is trying to get set up, uh, and Ethan is working on some cool ideas. Uh, So, right, we voted on those stories. We've got. Right on, right, so, I should we should be in a position now to do a check on staging that Airbreak is on staging. Um, so let's put that over there. Uh, right. So there's a. Local support. This is this is local support here. There was a thing that I just did with. Uh, there we go. So that was the creating it. So I can do the add-on for staging, like so. Um, right. And so that should have been deployed. And so in principle, we can then. So it's like you can do like a little. Have I done this in this channel? Probably not. Um, there is a little. Don't need that. Yeah, we can run. So in principle, we can now do an run an air brake test from staging. Now the thing I was getting confused about before is that it gives us a. If it works, it gives us a URL. Um, I'm not careful of these things. One thing. Yeah, it gives us a URL. I need. That over there, um, yeah. But if we if we go directly to this URL, um, we can't see it because that's going in logging in through their interface. What we have to do is go into. So let's develop. Let's look at staging. Um, uh, and yeah, it's deployed the right thing. And so now, in order to look at, so we can, we've got this bug tracker here. 
there we go and so now we can see that should be the single standard error exception from test rake task so that's air brake working on staging uh staging also hopefully should be showing us all the usual stuff um okay and is that reloaded it has okay and yeah so staging well, it looks like it's working so in principle then we can go forward with a move of the staging oh because what we should also see is if we're logged in as agile ventures here i guess there's, there's no way to list the volunteer opportunities associated with a particular organization and create new ones uh but so yes we should have the delete functionality is in there um and that's working and that's fine good show uh so git checkout master now i'm tempted almost here because i pushed out this thing that increased the token expiration for um, new users to seven days, which I think actually we don't need. Um, so I think that at the moment, like if we look at git hist uh, here, yeah, I've got this additional commit, which I don't think we really need. So I'm sort of tempted to just force push um, the existing staging to master. <coughs> But maybe that's um, a bad idea. What do you think? Huh. If we look at the... Hmm. Because I, I don't think we... I don't... Well... <laughs> Maybe that's fine. And, and maybe I should leave that in there as a record that that was there and I'll change it back later. I mean, that was when I was in a bit of a panic thinking we had a serious problem on our hands. Uh, so, well, let's get check out master, get merge staging. Um, and then get push origin master. But yes, I mean, while, while, while you, you were looking at that, um, uh, the issue related to the email validations, I was sort of practicing with a, um, I was practicing with the, oh God, what's it called? Doing the rebase. And I'd say it just, it ran into lots and lots of merge conflicts that you didn't get when you did the merge, which sort of yeah. puts me off doing rebasing again. But, uh, um, so I guess that will now take uh, a while for that to get out onto production. We will all, I guess I want to monitor that and make sure that we, we need to run that. Well, I guess it's not a rush, but we'll, once it's done, we'll want to run the uh, task at least once to populate it with, like, with uh, do it. Ops. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah, okay, so our production, let's push to master, I guess it will wake up and do that deploy, I guess it, the, it will have to build first, and then it will do that. Okay, so that's there in the background, um, you can wait for that. Uh, in the meantime, I guess... Well, we've got that task that we were just voting on, which is uh, uh, what is it? Yeah, adjusting the thing. I mean, it sort of feels like we maybe shouldn't rush into that in as much as it would be nice to just have the thing on production in its current form for a couple of yeah, of course. Actually, I guess you know, even if we st if we start doing the feature branch, it'll be a couple of days before it gets through the whole loop, doesn't it? Um, 
Yeah. Well, what? You, any any thoughts on the 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 email validation thing? Looking back at it now, we've had a bit of a an hour and a half or two hours distant distance on it. Oh, I don't know. I mean, mm. We've got, I mean, if we try and write out, I mean, email violation, we've got, uh, is this uh, by unknown? But then it says here, Marwen started this feature, being able to search for volunteer ops. Hmm. Oh. And that there, for some, or maybe it's unknown because he's got like, it's like, you know, Cyrillic characters or something. Um. I'll say thanks. Marrow. Thanks. Oh, well, no. We should get a notification automatically, shouldn't we? Uh, Marrow N. Um, for some reason, you are showing up as unknown. Uh, I wonder why. So, mm, so, so I mean, w one thing is like, you know, uh, we say email validation is more trouble than it's worth. I mean, the, the the whole of that, um, the whole of that thing seems to be. We're sort of assuming that the uh, organization emails can be dirty, and then we've got this stuff in there to make sure that the, you know, to, we've we've got we've got validations on the device emails, on the user, yeah, and and then we've got that kind of like Russian doll series of different response things, which just seems convoluted and. And I think that I just what I really worry. I mean, I, I worry we've got this pattern of services where we've broken the sort of CRUD interaction thing that's supposed to, you know, what is supposed to have your Rails controllers adhere to. You. Um, yeah. But so one, it, it, and and so that one, we can say that more trouble than it's worth. In that, it's kind of breaking our existing flow. I don't know. Two, it's like we end up delete some tests uh, to indicate those are extreme corner cases. You no longer need to test. Other option, which is, and I guess if that was the case, then there's like, uh, you know, do some data cleaning. That up, um, and then for three um, would be like to re uh, review the proposed organization flow uh, given that uh, new. What have we got? I mean, we've, we've got. Given that uh, errors can now occur in new places, would you say that's a reasonable summary of the th of, of at least three of our options? Yes. Yeah. Can you think of any other options? No. Um, and does one of these options appeal to you more than the other? Is not really. I mean, mm. <clears throat> where are we at in terms of uh, website one? And let's see what it, Raoul put some changes to staging now. Yeah, he ha yeah. So we could do that. We could check that. Um, 
the the the, the staging flow. Uh -huh. That would be a not unreasonable thing to do at this point. Uh, break our existing flow, discard pull request. Uh, for the moment, let's just say, uh, considering our options as regards email validation. The other thing I'm just, just thinking was that the, one of the things I was reviewing in the client meeting was this issue with the, now this, this was like a user coming in for this is, uh, yeah, so this is another <coughs> separate flow. This is like an incoming flow for where there's a, the organization exists already. So it's um, it's not not related. Okay. Um, Um, would you like to move that? I mean, so I guess we can, you know, we don't, we're not in a hurry to make a decision there. Um, we've got the, yeah, remove the volops from the server thing, which might be quite low hanging. Yeah, I guess, but shall, shall we do the, um, you want to do the WSO? Quick, yeah, sure. Let's do review that. that and then, and then, because that unblocks Raul from doing the next one. Yeah, and then hopefully we can get that out yeah. and then tomorrow or the next day to production. Yeah, indeed. Do we have like authentic type production data on uh, staging? staging. I, uh, I assume it's more authentic, but maybe we, that's something we should do. Um, Pull in the latest database from... Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, so have I saved that? I have saved that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so do you want to? Let's see. I mean, I guess. Do you, do you want to take the lead? I've been doing a lot of driving today. Do you want to take the lead on, on moving the, pulling the data? For, I guess, do, do you have access to all of the relevant instances? Uh, I guess, I mean, production, staging, here it is. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I've got, at least with the Agile vent, uh, for local support projects, Agile Ventures, local support. I've got a uh, um, so I've got what is it my DevOps thing here? I've got like basically the commands that I use. Like, I think if you do this command here, yeah. that will, assuming we've got PG backups installed, which I'm fairly sure we have on, on website one, that will you know ensure that there's a fresh copy of the data. Uh, you want it? Uh, yeah, that should that should That's be good. it. Uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, I think it's got an extra colon in it now, I guess. Uh, Interesting. No app specified? I, th I mean, I'm sitting inside of a... Well, yeah, and you've got the minus R production. Have you got... Um, is Have you got the product... Ah. Maybe you don't have the production thing set up. Do you have, if you do get remote minus V? Probably you, not, actually. Do you have, yeah. Get remote minus V. No. 
and so you would want to get remote ad uh you know production and get it should be like it'll be the you could almost go get dot com slash website one hyphen production dot get Backup completed. Yeah. Uh, and then. And then, so the next one is, is PD backup space restore. Um, and uh, then, I mean, what you might want to do here is, is kind of, I mean, it, it was po Heroku Postgres SQL Cyan URL, but maybe you might want to do like um, Heroku config minus R production to see what the, um, Maybe do it in another screen, or maybe I should do it in another screen for you to see what's the um, uh, to see what is the um, is it rocker config uh, minus r production. Uh, what the database URL is? Uh, interesting. So we seem to have both red and mauve available to us. Um, I don't know which one would be preferred. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, so we, we need to work out which is, when, when you ran that um, PG backups capture, did it say something about which? Um... No. Just says backup B006, backup completed. Right. Um, yeah, there seem to be two different. There's these two different database URLs, um, and uh, uh, I guess well, the interesting question, I guess, is that these are the two that are on. Um, there. Let's have a look at what staging has got. Staging has got. Oh, I've not got staging. Ah, oh, no, I don't have staging on here. Um, get remote add staging. Um, uh, what is it? Say so it's production. Get it over on website. One staging. Get. Let's have a look at the config for staging. And then on, on staging, it has ivory. So who knows? But um, I mean, I guess you might as well just use the move one and we'll see what data it ends up having. All right, so what's the command again? It's... So the command is, um, yeah, so it's Heroku PG, I assume now PG colon backups space restore. And then it'll be, I mean, grab one of those, yeah. And then you can probably do there, like minus, instead of minus A, you could do minus R production. No, no, sorry, what's that? That should be minus R mm. staging. Yeah. Oh, which uh, you may or may not. Are you, are you set up for staging? Well, and then, then you need kind of like well, space. Uh, I need to set up. Uh, maybe I can do it a different. Mm. And it probably won't carry over to here, will it? Mm. Uh. What are you saying? Won't, won't carry on? What? It something won't carry on to here.
That looks that looks about right. Probably get remote out, right? Get remote out. So to add. Yeah, remote out. There you go. that might work oh, no. <laughs> so then then space and you need like a back tick and then um, now we need to do Hiroku PG backups uh, yeah and then space public hyphen URL and then do minus R production and then close the back tick and so what it's doing is that Hiroku PG backups public URL minus our production should get us the URL. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, it should get us the L from, um, let me just run that. Uh, let me just run that uh, to see what? what it does. Yeah, I'm just, hold on a sec. So Heroku, PG, uh, what is it called, PG backups? Yeah, public and URL minus R production. Does that even work anymore? Yeah. Okay. And it's pulling out. Uh, so I think actually that that you your screen share has stopped. By the way. Um, Go on. If you um, your shell, I think that command is overall correct. However. I think where you have, uh, it says mauve, mauve or whatever, it needs to be post Heroku post gray ivory and then underscore URL. And I think post gray is, it's post gray SQL. You need to actually, so ivory. And yeah, rather than post gray sort of ending there, it needs to have SQL on the end of it. Or like this? Yeah. And so basically what we're doing is we're, we're directing a restore to the Heroku post gray ivory URL on um, staging with and telling it to restore from whatever's on production. Okay, so I should hit an R. Yeah. Mm. Plug in the database. Uh, okay, I think is there Heroku underscore post gray SQL? Oh, that's weird. Valid options. That Postgre, I, I, a SQL ivory, it's like that. That's an exact match for what you have on the command, right? I think so. Uh, so that's the database that's come off production. I wonder then if the if something else has changed about. Uh, so if we look at uh, what are we what are we doing here? This is like Heroku uh, clone database to staging. Uh, it's updated 2016. Backups capture. Okay. Okay. It seems. It looks like I think the syntax of the PG backups restore has changed slightly, and it looks like we need to uh, reverse the order of those things. So I think, like the restore, that I think we probably want to remove. We want to move the Heroku Postgres equal Ivory underscore UL minus R staging to the very end of the thing. So we pass it the um, database URL first. And then, yeah, so there. Yeah. The head error? Uh huh. List of command will affect the app website one staging. Yes, to proceed, type website one staging.
Okay, so that might take a little while. Uh, I'm going to update the wiki. Thanks. Uh, it's done. Okay. Yeah, so you can go and have a look at staging. Okay. Uh... Okay. It looks like it's got fairly recent data. Cool. Okay. So, um, what we what we need to do, we need to set the um, go and check that the agile bot URL is set. It's a bunch of stuff we have. Well, so develop. I mean, the, the, well, yeah. Come on, come on. Um, I think I, I've, so I've finished DDD and I think, I, I think, I think it, maybe I really need to write a domain vision statement for all the projects we're working on. But anyway, I can get that out. I don't think about that. There we go. Okay. So we're still pointing at agile bot staging, right? Yeah, I think sensibly for the purpose okay. of testing this now. So and I'll save that, and then we want to do Haraku stage. Yeah. Um, There's nothing else we have to reset, right? We I should... don't think so. Okay, um, we can try testing it now. Yeah, so I guess we also need to have a um, we need to have a CS one six nine for a similar project. Well, actually, let's well let's go and have a look at what projects we've got on there, um, and we can just go to an events new page, I guess. Like so, uh, let's log in. I should be able to log in here with. <laughs> GitHub. Uh, oh dear, something went terribly wrong. It says sign in successfully. Huh. Hmm. Uh, is there a database migration to run? Uh, I'll try. Let's have a look at um, Rock. Roku logs minus TN one five zero zero minus R staging. And I thought we had just what was the error there? It is undefined method product ID for event. So it does seem like a I'm running a migration right now. Yeah. I thought we had just changed semaphore so that it didn't need to do that. Or at least that it would do it automatically. 
I don't think it's, it's, it's migraine, is it? Yeah. Um, I'm just we got here project settings. Agile Ventures website one. Post thread. No, it's for deployment, isn't it? I, I uh, build settings. Build scheduler. We've got build settings. Post thread. Edit new command line. Parallel thread. Build scheduler. No. What? I swear when we were looking yeah, at Yeah, last week we saw it, didn't we? I, I thought, I, I, I thought uh, Raul had directed me to, um, like, oh. a, had had directed me to uh, uh, like a thing here which said deployment. I don't know. That I had then I think, added. I think you did something. You changed, you changed something that was supposed to make it. Yeah. On, you migrate on the on. Yeah, stage. He, like here. Here we go. The setup here. Because it's got like rails uh, there. It, that's just doing. No, I don't know if I added that one. See, I think I think it should have. Bundle exec rake. Is there any situation in which we wouldn't want it to automatically run the um, uh, the um, on staging? Well, this this is I think will be on on all of ah uh, what is it ah uh, your build settings? Okay, like I think it's it's specific to. Here we go. All right, so develop. Okay, so the develop there. Okay, it's got a different setting for each one. So staging. And staging's got it there. So, so is that because I just added it? Host thread, bundle exec, rake, db migrate. And master. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Build settings. Maybe I tried to add it last time and it just didn't save. You see, they're coming to build settings there, and now it doesn't. It doesn't say. Uh, there's something a bit weird going on there. Anyway, I guess I will end up ignoring it. Mm, mm, uh, cool. I think uh, uh, somebody actually watching us. Um, uh, uh, I was, uh, but uh, live feed was from Michael and not me. Uh, sorry. Should be good now. Uh, right. Oh, we do have viewers. Uh, one viewer, right. Huh? That, I, I'm just... Okay, I guess I should stop looking at that because we've, we've, we've addressed that. So now... It still says something went horribly wrong. Did you... I mean, we did migrate it. So you just migrated it. It's still saying something went horribly wrong. Um, Don't know. You're going to have to Let's look in the logs. I'm looking in the logs, and it seems to be saying, well, that, that the, the most recent error message I can still see is this undefined method project ID for event, which is the migration. Did you run the migration on staging? You yes. Did, you did. Minus R staging at the end. Minus R staging, yes. Uh-huh. Uh, Running rake DB migrate on website one staging. Yeah. Do you want to just restart the staging server? I don't know why that would... We've got our different projects. Um, I mean, our current project is called ESAS MOOC is our it's existing. Restarted. It's restarted, yeah. Um <laughs> God, go away, go away. I'm still thinking, yeah. So I'm just trying to reload the ESOS. Maybe. I'm still kind of foxed with this semaphore. Build settings. When I edited it to add bundle exec, 
So we've got ESAS MOOC, which basically has got some videos collected from a long time ago and an activity from a very old tracker. Maybe we should be creating an, an, a new one called CS169. I, I don't know. Anyway, let's go to events again. Events, new event. Okay. So there we go. That's Maybe we're just caching it aggressively. I guess so. Um, hmm. Hmm. And about seven four. Anyway, so this is not gonna. Um, do you want to add a a project called CS One Mind? Yeah, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, the other thing to do is to update the Agile bot in order to. Uh, do something with one something else, but that's not the priority, I guess. Um, um, so there's CS one six nine. We go to events new. So now CS one six nine is right down there at the bottom. So yeah, potentially you could be testing it on, you know, with the link or whatever. Not sure I'm... Yeah, with the link syntax, you know, CS169. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, exactly, sorry. Yes, uh, so let's put that on something else. Uh, so, cool. yeah, we uh, had... It's basically... it's Project product. equals CS169. So people come in, that, so that works. Uh, awesome pairing on Rails, let's say. Uh, um, okay, so somebody does their pairing thing, they get to here. <laughs> and they say, right, I'm going to start my Hangout on Air. I want to uh, start a new different new browser. Um, so let's go in there. Uh, Gotta log in again. We're in another place. That at least didn't break going through. So we start that Hangout on Air. Um, okay, we got that. Uh, and so what we should hope is that this comes through on Gitter. So let's have a look. Connection to website. One established. Was there something else? Mm hmm. So do we have to change the Hangout app ID? Mm, not in principle. No, it looks the same look. on develop. So the console has not. Uh, I mean, we have got. There was also. Uh, so wasn't there like something that said enable notifications? There was. It had to be set. <sighs> yeah, you're right. There was um okay, one of these the connection status is is up. And that's for the develop entity. Yes, there was there was the Slack notifications needs to be enabled. Just enable notifications, I think. Slack notifications enabled. Yes. And which Slack instance it goes to is determined entirely by the Agile bot? I don't remember. Where does it get the... Um... Right. I think that's in the... I think, yeah, right. I think, that, I think it's the Agile bot. Uh... Controls the... The Agile bot gone. Agile pot. Open a new window. Okay. 
So the agile bot mm, send Slack message, Slack API token. Yeah, so that's coming. That's agile bot. Okay. Did okay, you start it? You've enabled and restarted. Have you? Let me yeah. hit notify Slack there. I don't know if there's some aspect of. Do I have to restart the Hangout? You might have to. Let's just do that anyway. Because uh, maybe is there a notify true that comes through from the? Okay. Uh, Yeah, it says notified true now on that parameter. Okay, yep. Yeah. And it looks like it came through. Yeah, it came through on Gitter. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So then the other part of the test is just to check. That's that we... something that's not CS169. Yeah. So if we have a look for, um, uh, so for example, the Pacific Rim, Rim Scrum here, if we start this one, um, then we should get a notification somewhere else. Uh, mm. Okay, uh, right. Yeah, oh, yes. So, look, yes, we have. That's come through. Yep. And through then, where? Yeah. Okay. Oh, in the premium, yeah. Yeah, the premium Agile Ventures. Yeah. Uh, All right. Okay. So, so I guess maybe it makes sense to have somewhere documented what we have to set so that it's more orderly when we do it for the. Yeah, well, we can create, create a chore. Create, I mean, if, if. Do we have this as a. Um, that's interesting because I'm just there's still it's not posting the video feed, and sometimes that just does take longer. It did take did come through on a longer run. I guess that I'll leave Firefox running there for the moment. Um, put that over there, and I'm going to lose it for a minute. I've got too many Hangouts running. Um, but yeah, so if we look. Here at website one, I mean, this is our epic here. I mean, on production, we're going to just have the same bot URL, right? Yeah, and Slack notifications are on on production. So uh, potentially, we don't have to change any configs. Yeah, I mean, the 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 own yeah, and in principle, the only thing that we have to do is it, it's actually when we go out when we take this live on production. We have to change. We have to update the agile bot, um, and actually, we could change the, whatever project name we want it to be at that time. So, yeah. Mm. Oh, and, and there comes the video live stream thing. Okay, so that's you know nice to see that go. I mean, it, the, the, I mean, it feels like uh, all the so oh, just like all the services on Logsport and website one could well use some refactoring. But anyway. Okay, so let's shut down the Firefox stuff that's making my computer overheat. Um, okay. Um, so we could tell Raul that... Yep, yeah, uh, we could certainly let Raul uh, know that that's... Um, I want to coordinate the push somehow. Yeah, uh, we tested on staging. All good. Um, note that uh, production push will need to be coordinated with a push of new Agile bot code. Um, I mean, there's other things that could be tested on staging, but I'll maybe we'll leave that to him to do. Um, uh, as you say, I mean, there's 
I mean, the interesting question in some ways is, I mean, the, 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 the book, look, bigger picture documentation, I feel like both for local support and website one, and possibly also for the order graders, we've just got this huge, like, oh, there's this, all this just stuff written down in multiple locations, of, of which, you know, I'm trying to consolidate. But there's this kind of thing of just writing stuff down and it being lost and forgotten. And as I say, so here we've got two things. We've introduced the Agile bot URL and the Slack notifications thing is kind of is kind of there. If we go and look in the code base uh, for website one, um, where was the place? This was it was in the service itself, event uh, Slack service. So there was like basically here. This is the um, you know it's checking. It's it's a feature flag. Um, that's a sort of set through an, uh, an environment variable rather than the database. Uh, I mean, I guess the thing, so we, 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 I guess we've also, we've enabled Slack notifications on staging. Uh, we should probably switch them off now. We'll have to, uh, we have to mess around with the config vars on production. But actually we could put it in right now. Well, what, what, what would we have? What would we have to change? Yeah, Agile bot URL. No, it doesn't. Uh, no, it doesn't have to. Oh, I, yeah, it'll have to be added. Because we just introduced that. Yeah. Well, yeah, you might. You I can go ahead and put yeah, that why, in. Why don't you yeah. go ahead? You go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and uh, basically, it, it's from this this service. We, we can see that. Can you give me the link? Uh, I can, in principle. I, I think it's just Agile bots without the staging on it. It's like, um, have I got it here? It's like Agile bots. Here we go, like that. Is the, without the without the training slash being the critical critical thing. Yeah, let me get that. We get that up there. Mm -hmm. That part of it will be done already. I'll just restart the server without the trailing slash, right? Yeah, exactly. Without the trailing slash. Um, All right, that's up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just, I mean, definitely what I want to do going forward is just try and keep a handle on all the documentation, all of these things. Um, I mean, the interesting thing here is, you know, the, it, we, we, the, there's sort of a level of documentation uh, in the code here. For say, you know, we we can see the external dependencies there, uh -huh. um, and and that presumably the service spec itself. Uh, did we not? I guess I thought I refactored this a bit. Am I on some other branch or something? Am I? Wrong thing. I'm on like long nicknames, yeah. Git account. Develop. Git pull upstream in origin develop. Um is this now Synch synchronize? Really? I thought I thought we refactored this. What this the Slack service spec? I thought we'd like. We did. Uh, yeah. What am I looking at? Azure Ventures website one here. I'm on develop. Everything's pulled up to date. Have we somehow managed to lose that? 
change. Hmm. Huh. That's slightly disturbing. I guess oh. that's not impossible, is it? If the uh, what was the uh, did I somehow lose that through a rebase? No, even squashing it wouldn't have lost it. What was this? What would, what was the branch that would have included? Um, uh, let me look. I've got remove agile block URL hard coding. Send tonight what project association in notification. I would have thought it was probably that night nine one one nine one nine. Yeah, here's my. I've got the. I've got the commit in nine one nine. I've got. Um, there's a, a commit FCBA five nine D. That's. Um, uh, that we seem to have lost from that. If we go and look at the pull request. Uh, Website one pull requests so closed hmm which would have can I can I say in there nine one nine will that tell me because it should have said fixes. Nine one nine. You th thinking about it? Remove Azure Bot URL hard coding. Just event show page to send event product ID to Hangout plugin. What the hell? Anyway, what? Oh no. Pink unicorns. Pink unicorns. Mm -mm. I think, does that tell us the GitHub's down? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, anyway, well, my point, well, my point was here is that there's an extent to which the test here tells us about the things that are necessary for the service to operate right but it's still not it's still not at the level of um uh it's not at the, at the level of kind of like a devops thing about how to deploy it is it um and we've got you know this is as assuming that the default i guess this is, this is working against the uh default config being uh does it even test really I'm kind of surprised I'm surprised that that would work this is it's going into the slack bot URL um, here the bot url oh is is hard coded that's weird cuz we changed that as well and that it went to the staging bot that's very strange isn't it yeah it is do you see the same on develop for Wait. What? That's. I mean that that that. Well, wait a sec. Uh, Are you up to date? Yeah, I am. But that that was on the on the branch. Uh, yeah, here we go. So that's a settings agile bot URL. So sorry, I I was in I was in the it was in my branch that had that refactored. Um, uh, 
Yeah, okay. So this is now on... Okay, yeah, so it's... Our um, test there is hard coded. I don't know. I, I'm 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 on a little thing here to say to to, to wonder, like if there was a, a cucumber test of the Slack service, that might be something somewhere along the lines of. Um, so hypothetically, we might have, uh, you know, at, at, you know, cucumber tests for services. And then uh, we might have a file which would be Slack service dot feature. Let's say uh, let's not add it now. And then this is the feature Slack service, and you know uh, as a site admin, so that um, you know uh, users are <coughs> aware of each other's activity and can join in pairing sessions oh, no, so, so that users can join in each other's pairing sessions uh, I would like uh, them to be aware of each other activity yeah like so and then we had scenario so this is for Slack notifications, let's say. Uh, given that um, Slack notifications are enabled and that um, the Agile bot URL is set correctly, uh, When I start uh, a hangout, uh, there should be an appropriate notification in Slack or, or whatever. Right. And I'm just could this is this then uh, get to the level of being our DevOps documentation of what you need to do in order for this thing to work? Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. uh, um, and I mean, th th this could be more specific of that. Oops. Uh, what is it? You know, the Envar Slack notifications is set to true. But then again, I mean, would anybody even bother to consult these cucumber features? Is this just another exercise in writing more random stuff that people will never read? I don't know. Maybe. Mm. Not sure. Anyway. Well, you got to start wrapping up soon, right? Yeah. Um, but anyway, so that, that test is um, test is done. We still seem to have the case. Well, so they're saying all systems operational. And it's back up. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's not. <laughs> Uh, it looks like it really something loaded over there. And they've had a high number of errors. Another page. Yeah. Okay. But so, what we seem to be missing, and so at least from develop, my refactoring of that thing, which is FCBA, seems to be. Seems to be missing. Uh, 
pull requests closed, but as I was looking for the one that fixed, I mean, I, I assume what happens is that is that maybe I did that and somehow, there we go. Well, alternate in events index, no. There should have been one that was saying fixes 919, but it doesn't seem to be there. Uh, I haven't to create. Uh, it's fine. No, none of these. That's really strange. So I'm on develop here, and I'm on the latest version of develop. And the Slack service, it has the project trying to send the project slug. It just doesn't have the Slack service spec. Um, okay, well, anyway. This is on your branch, right? Yeah. I mean, if, you check, out, if you check out the 9... Can you check out your branch 919? <laughs> uh, uh, right. What I should sensibly be doing is going to... Issue slash nine one nine. We had, and then okay. So it looks like we didn't submit a pull request to close nine one nine. I mean, if you go to nine one nine, do you have that service refactored? Uh Hold on a second. Let me share my screen. So this is nine one nine seven Slack bot project association and notification. Mm -hmm. Notif. Well, this is the wrong project. Open. Open recent website one. So it should be in the spec, right? Yeah. So a Slack service. Yeah. So on your version of nine one nine, it doesn't have that. And the funny thing is, we don't seem to have a pull request associated with this. I, I think maybe a pull request didn't get created from this, and but maybe you built off your version of the branch there maybe and, that, and thus we didn't notice it particularly um so do you have something that yeah so i think let me if i do git merge or even base develop here yeah okay so i'm gonna do git push origin 919 um Okay, this is over based it. Control A, hit push. I guess that, uh, well, the other thing to look at there is what's on the 919 branch of, it already exists on the server. 919 contains one commit ahead. Yeah, just that single. So you could open a pull request with that branch. Already, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I can just do that from... Uh, yeah. Mm -mm, I'll do it from the... New pull request. Okay. Um, fixes uh, 919. Um, uh, mm, looks like most of this got 
merged already, uh, but we lost a refactoring. Okay. And so that just has that single commit there. Okay. That's cool. Um, so then I think, well, the only other thing, I, I think if we now, if we've deployed to production on local support, let's come back to end up our local support activities. Um, uh, we should see that the volunteers will not have any, uh, yeah, that's what we would expect to see. So now we just need to run that rate task. Uh, from local support, which is rake, well, it's, in the, it's, going to be, it's going to be Heroku, run rake, eb, do it, and I always get the wrong, do it, import, minus r, production. And there's no, I don't think there's any server settings that we need to do. Um, and, oh, there's also setting up, there's air brake and setting up a test of that uh, yeah, in principle also if we're logged in here uh, no really Maybe I, delete, I deleted that user didn't I on here uh, if we're logged in for a give for any Volunteer opportunity, we should see delete. So that's functionalities in there. Um, that was it. Was of course instead of do it import, it's import do it. Um, and we can add on the um, air break on production for for that and. Then I've lost the, but somewhere in this history is the, what was it? Yeah, air brake. Let's get a test of the air brake uh, on production. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right, and then down here, yeah, okay, so we've run that in principle. There we go, so that's live. Cool, that's, working. Uh, that's a reasonable to have got that done. Uh, and that's interesting, I'm getting a whole load of. I mean, any exception notifications for what? That's somewhat kind of irrelevant. Uh, so let's just tell Rachel um, um, more do it ops live on the network. Right. Um, so that's out, and that's good. And then the only other thing there is we've got an air brake thing, and I'm on production there. If I look in the resources for uh, bum, 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 resources, God, will you just do it sometimes? This is this. Magic trackpad. Sometimes I try and click on something. And what? Oh, is it? Hmm? Is that the wrong page? Resources. Okay, yeah. No, every bug tracker, I'm just not looking down far enough. Uh, so we should, in principle, see. Um, yeah. So we're tracking those things there. And then. So now. There's integrations, and we should be able to set this up with GitHub. 
Uh, so we do. Okay, Airbrake will have access to everything. Why don't you? Uh, production environment locations only. Yes, active. Auto create GitHub when it occurs. GitHub repo. I presume we enter agile. Is it going to be the full URL? Enter your oh, like this. Okay. So that's going to be uh, agile ventures local support uh, save and good integration added and I guess I can rerun that test and see if we get that come through and I think then that's if that works that's um I think I guess we're done for the day yeah cool so you free usual times tomorrow yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I mean, then there's a cloud of, you know, if you want to. Say again. I said, I think I'm getting better from the illness. Oh, good. Cold. Good. Yeah. Um, it's a lot better than it was on Friday. Pleased to hear that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely uh, getting flying fit again. Um, yeah. So it looks like Zamago and Marion talking about pairing on the volunteer location different from org location story. Um, do um, you know? Let them know your thoughts on the location concept and so on. If they're going to start working on that, um, yeah. Anyway, we'll see. We'll 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 see. Uh, we'll kind of mix and match with bits of yeah. local support and um, uh, we'll see one tomorrow. Yeah, great working with you again, Michael. Mm -hmm. Say again. So, what about auto graders? And yeah, well, uh, absolutely. We, we 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 could we could start off with a look at that at the beginning of the day. Um, right. Yeah, I mean let's let's you know see where we, see what uh, issues we have that come up overnight. Yeah. All right, bye. All right, bye for now.